Hey folks, uh, Stony Stamper here with Heart Trailers, and we've got a few trailers that we'd like to walk around and show you. So if you'd like to, come follow me and we'll just start here at the front of the trailer and work our way around. Anytime I'm showing someone a trailer, I just think the easiest place to start is at the front and we can work our way back. One thing that uh, is a really strong selling point for Heart Trailers is the structure and the way that we put the trailer together and the strength and integrity of the trailer that we build. And that starts right here, even at our goosenecks. On ours, we use 90 different fasteners on the actual gooseneck itself. And then on trailers over 26 feet, you'll have double gussets. You'll have a gusset here and a gusset here, which gives it extra strength and integrity. It's not going to bend, it's not going to give way, it will not break. When you take a look underneath our gooseneck, you see all the bolts and fasteners that we have at every high stress point. They all tie in together to this gooseneck, which is bolted into the frame of the trailer itself. Come on back here and let's take a look at the rest of the trailer. We'll come back to the living quarter part last. All of our doors are hand built by us in the factory. Nothing is pre-made, nothing is uh, prefabricated. All of these are welded solid. They've got double door jams, which will help decrease the cause of leaks in doors, which is something that is common in our industry. They close very well. That sounds, you hear how tight that sounds? Their hinges are welded on, not riveted. So on this trailer, we move the rear tack door around to the side. We have a single entry door with a half width ramp. This trailer has been lined and insulated on the, on the rear side, which is also an option. We don't deal so much with cold weather, some, but most of the time we're looking to reduce the temperature inside the trailer. Our roof is automatically comes standard as uh, it's rated at an R3 insulation factor. And then when you insulate the walls as well, you're gonna reduce the temperature inside the trailer by about 20 to 25 degrees, which is significant if you're talking about 100 plus degree weather, uh, you could be in the 75 to 80 range inside your trailer. So be nice and comfortable for your horses. Another option that this trailer has is it has the bar dividers, which some may call them jail bars, some may call them flow through. All dividers come with padding. Uh, rubber all the way to the bottom of the drop down doors. So as I said on, on this particular trailer, we moved the rear tack door from the back of the trailer over to the side. This is a popular option because you can be loading tack while simultaneously loading horses. Someone else can be over here uh, loading gear, saddles, bridles, anything that you may be taking with you. Again, on this side, you see the same quality of door, the same uh, construction and manufacturing that you saw on the doors on the back side. We build them the same way on our manger doors. So this is just the underside access to the feed mangers on the inside of the trailer. But the underneath storage of these mangers is extremely, uh, extremely valuable because it gives you so much more room to put blankets, uh, bell boots, and really anything else that you haul with you to horse shows. So when we build our trailers, when you see them being pulled down the road, you only see the exterior. You see the sleek, modern looks and the, and the you know, sometimes polished skin and different colored skins that we put on the outside. What you won't see is the structure that's underneath them. This has a tongue and groove interlocking aluminum floor system. We have cross members every six inches. Uh, there's no trailer in the industry that has a floor that is as heavy and as rigid as ours is. We know this because we have thousands of customers that are still pulling trailers that they bought in the early 90s, mid 90s, early 2000s. These trailers last. They, you won't wear them out. So when it comes to the structure and the durability of the trailer itself, absolutely second to none. Uh, another feature that this trailer has that is uh, very helpful for the horseman that's on the road often, if you look up on top of the trailer, we have a six foot hay pod on this trailer. You can get them in a hay rack, which is just the rack itself, and you can put hay or wheelbarrows or anything you need up there. Or in this case, a pod. And on the pod, it has a lid so that you can open it, put your hay in there, keep it dry, put feed in there, keep it dry. 
Um, and then behind the hay pod, you'll see that's where we put our generator. This trailer also has Alcoa aluminum wheels, which is not a standard option, but uh, is something that most people upgrade to whenever they're buying a living quarter. All right, so now we're on the inside of the trailer that I've just showed you the exterior of. This is an 11 and a half foot short wall interior that was done um, on an 11 and a half foot short wall. You know, you're able to have the couch and the bed. So this will, this couch pulls down. It will easily sleep four people in something this size. This unit has ducted heat and air, which means it has a drop ceiling. It'll have ducting in the ceiling. So your air conditioner unit will feed air up into the bed and into the bathroom behind you. It has a six, a full size six cubic foot refrigerator that also has the matching hardwood on the front of the refrigerator. It just gives it that homey feel. These cabinets are not normal RV style cabinets. These are hardwood, they're built, they're tongue and groove, They've, uh, they are removable, but mo most importantly is they're sturdy, they're heavy, and they can last as long as the trailer that we put it in. To go into the bathroom, Outlaw does an excellent job of their decor, you know, the knobs and the cabinets, and, and they, make, they utilize all the space that they can to give you plenty of closet space. We try to utilize every bit of open space that we can to give you as much space to hang clothes, to put clothes away, because you're gonna be taking a lot of stuff with you. And we wanna make sure that you just don't have it piled on the floor. So right here, you've got your thermostat and you've also got your control panel, which this turns on your water pump and your water heater. And you're also able to check whether or not your battery is charged, your fresh water, your uh, black water and your gray water. There's another control panel here right inside the door. Controls your generator so you can manually start your generator from inside the trailer rather than having to go outside. You've got all your light switches and everything right here together so uh, they're easy to find, they're easy to use, as well as your awning controls, which this does have an automatic awning on the outside so you're able to take it in and out by the simple touch of a button. Well, I thank you for watching the video today about this four horse, 11 and a half foot uh, heart trailer. We have endless options, uh, endless sizes. You know, this is just one example of the many trailers that we build. If you have any additional questions or looking for any other options or a different trailer altogether, you can always go to our website at hearttrailer.com. You know, we can design a trailer exactly what you're looking for.